Welcome to another Kids Think Messiah Matters video. The show where we talk about God, Messiah Yeshua, and things relating to faith. I'm your host, Ben Hegg. And I'm your co-host, Ben's dad. So let's have some fun on Kids Think Messiah Matters. Here we are again. Yay! Yay! Oh man, Ben and I just got back from vacation, huh? How was that? Was it fun? Fun. Good. I like your you know, I like your jacket. Yeah. What do you think that is? Does everybody know what that is? Creeper. It's a creeper from Minecraft, huh? Mm-hmm. So, I want before we get started on on this, I made a mistake last time. Did you know that daddies and mommies can make mistakes, of course? Yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake last time. On our last show on number 003, we were talking about how big God's life is, right? And I said, when does life begin? And I said, when a baby comes out of its mom's tummy. But that's not true, is it? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Well, do you remember when your little brother Levi was inside a mommy's tummy? Yeah. Yeah. What did you like to do? Did you talk to him? Yes. Yes. He could hear me. Yeah, he could hear you. And what else? Um, he kicked a lot, right? Yeah, he kicked a lot, and um, so he was alive in there, right? Yep. The point that I was trying to make was that we think of life starting at one point, and that point is when it starts in a mommy's tummy. That's when life starts. So I made a mistake, and I wanted to let everyone know that I made a mistake. Okay, with that said, Ben and I just got back from vacation, and we had a good time. Uh, what's some of your well let's let's think of how we should do this hmm okay there are five biblical holidays in the calendar that means five holidays that we get to celebrate that god talks about and tells us about in the scriptures in the torah can you name do and for people who might not have ever seen this show before ben tell me what the torah is what is when we say the torah what are we talking about first five books of the Bible. That's right. And can you tell me what those five books are? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's right. Good job. Okay, so inside the Torah, there are five biblical holidays. And I know some people will say maybe there's more or less um, because of the amount of Sabbaths. But the point is there's five major holidays. Can you tell me maybe two of those five holidays? Can, can you name two of those five holidays that are in the Bible, in the Torah? Hmm. I want Passover. To be- That's good. That's the first one. Okay, one. I bet the kids at home are trying to. Let's see here. Passover. Can anybody tell me what the next one is? I can do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ch- uh, yeah, you're. you're... Shavuot. Well, that's Shavuot means a good week. That's what we say at the end of, of Sabbath. But you were close because it's Shavuot. 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 What's the name of Shavuot in English? Hmm. That's a hard one because we don't usually say that, do we? It's called Pentecost. Okay. Why do they call it Pentecost? That's just what the name is, Pentecost. I don't know. That's a good, good question. I bet we can find out for next show. Okay. So those are the first two, Passover and Shavuot. And then there's Yom Yom Teruah, that's right. Some people call it Rosh Hashanah. And then there's Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, that's right. And then the final one is eight days long, and it's called... Sukkot. Sukkot, that's right. And that's the fun one when we get to camp, huh? Okay, so those those are the five holidays that we find in the Bible. Now, don't say it, Ben, because I know that you know the answer to this, but let's give the kids at home a chance to figure this out and say it before you do. I'm going to put something on. The next holiday, That's it's not in the Bible. It's not commanded in the Bible. It's uh, There's one verse in the Bible that people think talks about this holiday. Now, you don't say it. Let's let the kids at home try first, okay? I'm going to put something on, and, and let's see if the kids at home can figure out what the next holiday is. Do you know, Ben? Yep. Hang on just a sec. I got one more clue for the kids at home. It says it on there. Okay, Ben, tell me, what is it? Hanukkah. Hanukkah, that's right. Hanukkah. 
And even though it's not commanded in the Bible, it's probably one of the most famous holidays within Judaism. What's Judaism? Judaism is a religion, and it's the religion of, well, Judaism is the religion of Israel, right? Yes. And it's the belief in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And we could talk about that. That's a whole different show. But for now... Yes. Yes. Hanukkah. How long is is Hanukkah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, No, eight. you went too far. Try again. Eight Eight. Days. Eight days. That's right. Eight days. Oh, don't do that. Okay. So, tell me. Can you tell me what the celebration of Hanukkah is? No. Mm, okay, that's okay. I don't really know. That's okay. Back about 200 years before Yeshua came to earth, some people came and they tried to take the temple. And they told the Jews that they had to eat unkosher food and bow down to idols. What does the Torah say about that? No. No. You can't do that. And so what did, do you know what those people were called? The Mac. Maccabees. The Maccabees. Do you know what Maccabee means? This is hard. This is a one-off question. Maccabee means hammer. Rawr. And so the celebration of Hanukkah is actually the celebration of when a few people, the Maccabees, came up against a whole army. And what do you think happened? They... Sit down. They took... Maccabees? No, the Maccabees came in and they took back the temple. What so, what do you think the the festival of Hanukkah is about? Taking back the temple. Yes. Yes. And yeah. Is it also the festival when we make latkes? It is. Can you tell people what latkes are? They're like Pancakes just made out of potatoes. Pancakes made out of potatoes. That's right. We eat a lot of fried stuff on Hanukkah. Like, there's something else called sufkaniot, but really that's a big, big Yiddish word for donuts. Do you like donuts? Yeah. What's your favorite kind of donut? A bar with chocolate um, frosting and sprinkles. Ooh, all right. So a chocolate bar with sprinkles. That sounds pretty good. That's something that you could eat on Hanukkah. What's something else that we do on Hanukkah? There's two other main things that we do on Hanukkah. I bet the kids at home can name one. Hmm. I do not. Ben doesn't know. Do we play with a little top thing? Yes. What's that called? A dreidel. That's right. That's one of the traditions that we do at Hanukkah. And what's another tradition? I'll give you a clue. Maybe the kids at home can get this one too. Ready? I know. Go. What do you think? We light the menorah. Yeah, we light. It's actually called a Hanukkah on on Hanukkah. We light a Hanukkah. And there's actually a tradition that is really, it's actually what we call fiction. Do you know what fiction means? Fiction means that it's not, it didn't actually happen. But the tra- tradition is that they came in to rededicate the temple and light the, ha- the menorah in the temple, and they only had enough oil for one day, and it lasted eight days. That's not, that's a late tradition. That didn't actually happen. But you know what? It's fun to do anyway. So we light the Hanukkah, we eat latkes, and we play dreidel. What do you like to use when you play dreidel? Coins. Chocolate coins. Why do you like chocolate coins so much? Is it because you get to eat them afterwards? Yes. Yeah, is that the best part? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Han- Hanukkah is a really fun holiday, but you know what? It's actually not commanded in the Bible, but it is a historical event that we like to remember. Are you going to have fun celebrating Hanukkah this year? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, if you, and we've asked people to send us pictures before, no one has, but that's okay. Maybe somebody will this time. If you want to draw a picture, color a picture of either a dreidel or a Hanukkah or something else like that, and then color it for us and have your parents help you send it to Torah Resource, care of Ben Hag, 
P.O. Box 7701, Tacoma, Washington, 98417. Then we will put it up on Ben's board behind Ben back there. Yep, right there. You can see that Ben drew a picture, but he's going to draw a new picture for Hanukkah. We'll put his up there, and then we'll put somebody else's up there, too. Or maybe a bunch of people if they send us some pictures. Beep, beep, so, beep, 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 beep. Okay, send us pictures and have a good Hanukkah. We will see you next week. Anything else you want to say, Ben? Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Yeah, don't forget to like this video, to share this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, all right? Yep. Yep, all right. See you next time Bye. here on Kids Think Messiah Matters.